our society is united and we all know in our country that this is not a fight between Christians and Muslims or Austrians and uh, people from other uh, countries. It is a fight uh, we have to fight together. It is a war against terrorism and it is a war against the ideology behind them. It is crystal clear that this terrorist attack was an Islamist uh, terrorist attack. Um, the gunman um, was born in Austria. Um, he has a migration background from northern Macedonia. And what we also know uh, is that he is a supporter of the Islamic State. Because um, President Macron of France, he came out after the attack happened here and said this is a friendly nation in Europe that was attacked about uh, Austria. Do you believe that the, uh, the situation in France, the new controversy around Charlie Hebdo, the events in Nice, for instance, that that might have played a role? We are trying to find out if there are links between this terrorist attack in Austria and those which happened in, in France. But um, the ideology behind it is always the same. It's the political Islam. Um, it's um, the idea of radicalizing youth, of radicalizing the second generation um, of people who live in our societies to fight our societies. And th that's, that's the main challenge we will have uh, in the European Union, how to deal with these people uh, and uh, how to fight not only the terrorists themselves, but also those um, who, try to, um, who try to mislead young people in mosques and uh, try to um, spread these ideas in our societies. What is Austria's message to the world after this attack, but also to people who want to divide society? Of course, uh, we will stay committed in our fight against these terrorists. We will stay committed in our fight against the ideology behind, um, but we will not let it happen that our society is divided because we have to be united in this fight.